Hi, I'm Uma Devi of Grade 7B. How are you all? Trust you all are fine and staying indoors. Today, in this short video, I will be sharing my thoughts on school-related bullying and violence. Bullying is very detrimental to the students' well-being. Bullying in students can be mostly verbal, physical, psychological and even cyber. Bullying can provoke anger, depression and a lot of stress and reduce the quality of education in the long run too. Student school bullying can occur on the school campus or even outside campus, predominantly due to relationships created in school settings. On average, one out of five students report bullying in their life. Bullying students most often include physical appearance, disability, religion, gender, caste, etc. The majority of students do not even report bullying due to fear of reta retaliation, not wanting to worry parents, being ashamed of not able to defend themselves and not making the situation worse with teachers and parents. We can take preventive actions to avoid bullying and reactive measures to handle bullying incidents. Everyone in the school has a role to play to prevent bullying in school. Students, teachers, parents, adults or even any community member. Teaching kindness, empathy and enabling more creative activities for students will help to avoid bullying. Language and art teachers can provide the required novels that give students empathy for others. Rewarding the positive behavior of students can also help. Infusing fear through clear and enforceable rules will stop bullying. Monitoring hotspots and keeping a watch at all times through designated teams will help students get bullied. Thank you. SRGBV or school-related gender-based violence are acts or threats of sexual, physical or psychological violence occurring in and around school which is because of gender norms and stereotypes. People who support this usually perpetuate on individuals who don't follow the rules regarding the gender, society or behavior. Gender-based violence can happen in and around school, at home, in the community as well as in the cyberspace. SRGBV affects the person and that can be related to health or academics. And basically, it affects the person mentally, physically, and psychologically. We can respond to SRGBV by the no-go tell method. We can analyze the situation and act according to it. My takeaway from the session is the importance of SRGBV in one's life and how it affects that person. I learned different ways to control anger and how to overcome SRGBV and also to be safe accordingly.